Hello my sewing friends. I am back today with one of those quick little tips that makes my sewing life a lot easier and hopefully it will be yours too. This one has to do with one of the things that is the bane of my sewing existence and that is hand sewing. I hate it with a passion of a thousand suns, but I do it anyway because sometimes you have to. So here is my tip that I learned from my daughter when she was in sixth grade. She was taking a home economics class and she told me to do this and I thought, oh my gosh, that's so smart and it works. Okay, thread is made up of fibers that are twisted together. And so when you cut your thread and you cut it blunt like that, you're cutting it so that the fibers all end in an even space. Well, when you go to put those through your needle, often the fibers will catch on the, the eye of the needle and they won't push through. And that's because they tend to want to fray, like anything would fray, like, you know, uh, like twine will fray, rope will fray at the ends. Same idea, but just on a very minuscule kind of uh, scale. So what she told me that her teacher told her to do is don't cut it blunt up and down, cut it at an angle. And basically you're cutting at a slant. And so what ends up happening is you are far better able to thread your needle through because those fibers are at an angle and it makes such a difference. This helps me so much, not just when I do hand sewing, but when I'm threading my serger. Anytime I have to thread anything through an eye, I always now cut my thread at an angle. Rather than doing it like this, I do it this way. These are embroidery scissors, by the way. Maybe it would be easier to show you with these. Don't cut it this way. Cut it this way. Makes such a difference so much easier so much easier so that is my little tip for today cut your thread at an angle and it will thread your needles way easier that's it for now for me and i will see you next time thanks for watching